Oftentimes uh, patients ask, what, what is an expander? Why do I need an expander? And what does it do? Um, now I have a, a model here of, of what a typical expander looks like. The expansion device has little bands or rings that fit around, and usually these are around the six-year molar teeth. Um, and then this device fits on the upper um, roof of the mouth. So th this is your, your upper jaw there, and then we're turning it this way and you can see the device there. So it's a little big, it's a little little bulky. Nice thing is, um, usually when you're getting this device, um, you're a little bit younger. Um, kids tend to adapt pretty quickly, you know, and after three or four days, they, they almost forget it's in there. Probably the, the most common um, reason that we'll use an expander is, is because of a, a, habit, a habit problem. So oftentimes, um, if your son or daughter uh, sucks their thumb, um, they're, gonna, they're gonna put their thumb right there, right behind their front teeth. And uh, you know, they're gonna do that typically as they're falling asleep or when they're watching a movie as they're tired. Um, and that constant um, sucking with that thumb there actually constricts the, the whole uh, upper jaw there, makes it, makes it a little bit narrower than, than what's ideal. Um, and because of that, um, you, know, you can have many different problems. Um, you can have airway problems. Um, two, the teeth won't fit together very, very nicely. Um, so it's, it's a good idea when that happens to actually get that um, upper jaw back to where it needs to be. And, and this is the device that we use. Now the way it works is after it's, it's actually cemented in, you can't take it in or out. And this is what it'll look like once it's in there. And then usually mom or dad will help um, the actual expansion process. So, and this is something we go over in the office that day. Uh, if you can see there, there's a little there's a little hole in the in the expander, and you and it, and it comes with a little key. So what what you do is you actually put the expansion key right in the hole. It fits there really nicely, and it's not going to turn because it's on the model here. But you actually just pull backwards towards the towards the throat, and it it turns the expander. Um, one turn, um, you can't turn it more than it's supposed to turn. Um, it's pretty straightforward and, and pretty easy. And it actually uh, turns things a quarter of a millimeter. So, so not very much, but enough to, to get the expansion process going. Because it's so little, most people don't feel pain. Um, they just feel a little bit of pressure. And we'll have patients do that once a day. And depending on how much expansion they need, they may do that for three to four weeks. And some people may do it for uh, six or seven weeks uh, to get that jaw out. Um, to where it needs to be. Another reason people have, have narrow jaws is, is just genetics. You were just born that way. For whatever reason, you know, your, your upper jaw did not develop the width that it needed to develop. So that would be a second reason you would need an expansion device. A third reason we see people um, come in um, and need an expander is uh, because of, of actually allergies and, and other sinus problems. Now, uh, you, you wouldn't think uh, those would cause a, a narrow upper, upper palate, um, but what happens, people that have allergies and, and sinus issues tend to breathe more through their mouth, um, especially when they're sleeping. They'll, they'll be slack-jawed and, and, and they'll sleep with their mouth open. So we call these, these people mouth breathers. When this happens, um, your cheeks are, are very taut and you're creating a little bit of suction, a little bit of pressure on, on, on your upper teeth. Not a lot, um, but it's interesting to, to note that just that little bit of pressure over, over the years is enough to, to collapse the, the upper jaw there, um, just that tautness in the, in the upper, uh, in the cheeks. Um, and so oftentimes you'll see people that, that have the allergies, the sinus problems, need expansion. And that actually helps with the breathing and the airway issues as well. But what can happen if we, if we don't expand the jaws, if the teeth are, are not put back in the proper place? When you have an upper jaw that's a little narrower relative to the lower jaw, um, the teeth won't fit together ideally. And because of that, you're gonna shift your lower jaw to be able to close your teeth and to bite. Now this shifting of the lower jaw can actually over the years cause the lower jaw to grow in, in that direction. So if I'm constantly shifting to the right to bite and to chew, I can actually get a little bit more growth um, towards the right and, and have almost a, a facial or skeletal deformity there. Another, another reason that you would want to get the, the teeth out in the right position um, is if the teeth don't fit together correctly, they are anatomically built to fit together really nicely and to protect each other. When the upper jaw is a little narrow and they're not fitting together well, you can get some, some really bad wear um, and, and it can really damage the teeth if they're just hitting 
on, on the wrong cusps and hitting in the, in the wrong orientation there. So that, that would be a, another reason why we would want to, to fix that and to expand those, those upper, upper teeth. The nice thing about the expanders is um, you get some really nice side effects from them. Not only are we putting our teeth in, in a good position there and protecting the teeth, protecting the jaw joints, opening up the airway space, but you get a nice broadening on side effect from doing the expansion and you get a really nice look to the, to the teeth. And uh, people always talk about Julia Roberts and her nice broad smile. And when you have the expander and, and you get those teeth out into a good position, um, you get that same effect. You get that nice broad smile where your teeth fill up your, your, your smile and you don't have a, um, empty space when you smile, which, which often tends to look really nice. So, you know, the patients that have the expanders on, um, it's a little bit of getting used to, um, but after a few days, they're, they're fine, you know, they're used to it, and it's not causing them any pain. But the, you know, the upsides to, to having it in, the, the, the positive side effects to having it in are, are really nice, and, and, and people see that when they get their braces off. Mm -hmm.